Hello, it's Maxine Kay in yoga here with you from the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living, connecting with you for today's love note. You remember the expression from Ecclesiastes, to everything there is a season. There's a time for sowing, a time for reaping. This has been a time for sleeping. <laughs> with this uh, last six months and the changes that we've adjusted to, it does seem that sometimes we just get tired. Huh? Have you experienced that? Well, there's a wonderful awareness, I think, that we have about the infinite. And since we're part of the infinite, we often uh, follow along with, with the same uh, experiences. And that is simply God rests in reason. God moves in passion. And we too often find ourselves very active, filled with creative ideas and energy and doing wonderful things all day long. And sometimes we feel the need to rest. Well, God is a rest and God is a motion. Right. Yoga has the rest part down real well. She also can be extremely active, runs and chases her toys and has a good time. But I think it's important for us to realize that it's okay to just take it easy sometimes. Just give in to that desire to, to be a restful being. And then allow ourselves to be active beings it's all part of our spiritual humanness. It's all part of, of how the infinite works, how the universe works. And since we're a part of it all, in fact, individualized manifestations of it all, we too must rest and we must motion. And it's a good thing to recognize that that, that balance is quite important. Because I, I don't think we want to be condemning ourselves or criticizing ourselves. You know, I've heard people say, I don't know what's gotten into me today. I just feel like a couch potato. Uh, you know, I'm never really sure how that expression ever got <laughs> into our vocabulary because I have never even seen a person who was resting a lot on the sofa look at all like a potato. <laughs> Not even yoga. <laughs> if anything, she's a tomato. But it's okay. I think it's, it's a good idea not to give ourselves a hard time if we're not keeping up with everything and keeping busy and getting a lot done every minute of every day because we need to cut ourselves a little slack sometimes. You know, it's been, it's been an interesting time. You know, may you live in interesting times. <laughs> it's been said that that was some sort of a Chinese curse, living in interesting times. Well, our times are interesting. But you know what? We don't have any more to deal with today than our forebearers did. There have always been plagues. There have always been wars. There have always been ups and downs with our finances. And we simply are living what we are living, where we are living, when we are living right now. So the best way that we can get along with what's going on in our world is not to give it a lot of power and to look through all conditions to the divine reality because this world is still a beautiful one. And you and I remain magnificent manifestations of the one life. And we have the creative intelligence that the infinite uses in bringing beautiful new forms into creation. So let's use it in a beautiful way, allowing ourselves to experience a sweet balance between a lot of activity and some sweet rest. Ah, be good to yourself. Recognize that there is a power for good in the universe and that we're using it all the time. You know, we're even using it and allowing it to use us when we are still. When we are quiet, 
go into our hearts, experiencing our meditation, our prayerful times. That powerful good is very much at work. And when we're resting, we're also healing whatever needs to be healed in our bodies, in our emotions, in our minds. So just give thanks for those different ways of experiencing our life. Underneath everything, there is a divine, harmonious, loving, wise, creative, intelligent presence. Ah, that's the context in which all of our contents are held. So let's dive deeply into that sweet place and experience the love and the nurture, the embrace of spirit, the divine, and allow it to just energize us when the time is right for us to do what we choose to do and to do it with joy and to do it with love and enthusiasm and great success. Honoring the different modes of activity and rest that are just natural to us. Is that right, Yoga? She's very much in agreement with that. <laughs> so do tune in um, tomorrow. You'll be hearing Reverend Mike again for his love note. We do this every other day, Monday through Saturday. And then Sunday morning, come on to our live stream at 1030 Eastern Standard Time. And you'll find all kinds of wonderful presentations. We have music, we have prayer, we have talk, we have a lot of fun also. And you access that by going to our website, cslphilly.org. And there's a link, takes you right to it. And that same link will also take you, there's a button, I guess, the same place will take you to archived live streams from Sunday's past. <laughs> it will also take you to archived love notes that Reverend Mike and I make for you. We love connecting with you. We're going to keep doing this. And the time that is coming when we can be together, we don't know when that's going to be yet. We're okay with uncertainty, aren't we? Yeah. She says, life's good as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> when that time comes, uh, we'll still do our live streaming, uh, and we will keep you posted as to when that could take place. You'll also read on our website about activities and classes coming up. We have wonderful things planned to keep our connection alive. And speaking of keeping us alive, <laughs> there's also an opportunity to make a contribution. Yoga has just left her rest stage, and she's going into her active stage now. Thank you, Yoga. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing you soon, every day, that you wish to be with us, because we're constantly with you. We love you. You live in our hearts. You're important to us. And we thank you for everything that you are and everything that you do, your rest and your motion, your rest and your motion. Good to be with you. Thanks and love. Bye for now.